So, the frequency is number of vibrations or waves per second. Now, see this diagram once again. Suppose if I mention that this is one complete wave, C, D, E is one more complete wave. So, two waves I have drawn here A, B, C, C, D, E, two waves I have drawn. And to execute the two waves, the total time taken is 4 seconds. Imagine. So, the two complete waves have executed in 4 seconds. Then in 1 second, how many waves are produced? Let me write. In 4 seconds, you produce two waves according to this diagram. So, in 1 second, how many waves you can produce? So, 1 by 4 into 2. How much you get? 1 by 2, which is 0 0.5 waves. So, half wave. 0 0.5 is in the half wave. That means in 1 second, you can produce half wave. That is the frequency. So, 0 0.5 waves per second are 0 0.5 cycles per second. See, this is a unit of frequency. 0 0.5 waves per second you can write. 0 0.5 cycles per second what is cycle don't think this is a bicycle in classical time wave can also be represented can also be called as cycle see a b c is one cycle c d e is one cycle to so two cycles so waves per second the cycles per second or you can say one more unit which is very famous for frequency that is actually si unit of frequency this is a hertz H-E-R-T-Z, Hertz, it's a scientist name. In short form, we can H-Z. So, therefore, the value I can write, F equals to 0 0.5 Hertz. Over. Instead of saying waves per second, cycles per second, I can simply say 0 0.5 Hertz. Okay, so this is how frequency is represented. Now, based on the frequency, you have two types of waves, high pitch and low pitch. What is in the high pitch? The sound wave having high frequency is called high pitch. Let me show you graphically. See here. This is for one second only. See the number of waves. High frequency means more number of waves in one second. Now low pitch, see carefully. This is for one second. See here, so many number of waves are there in one second. There you have only two waves. One, two, two waves in one second. So time is same, but number of waves are different. More number of waves means more frequency. More frequency means high pitch. Less number of waves, low pitch, less frequency. You know, in general, on average if you take, in general, males have louder sound louder sound and low pitch so we can speak loudly but the pitch is less females have soft sound but they have high pitch high pitch sounds you cannot hear if somebody screams if somebody cries with high pitch you can't in movies also you can show, they will show you for, for the fun, like one person screams and he, uh, when, they, when, they, when, when the person screams, the glasses break because of high pitch. Sometimes if you go into your kitchen room where you have different utensils, stainless steel, steel utensils, and if you scream louder, then you can hear the raised sound effect in the kitchen because of the utensils because you scream with high pitch so high pitch is high frequency low pitch is a low frequency now the last property speed in motion chapter we discuss the definition of speed speed is a distance by time it is a distance by time so here the distance is nothing but the wave travel distance the wave travel distance in one second and the travel distance is lambda. So I can write lambda by time is t, capital T. Capital is a time period. Now, v is lambda by t. 
or else you can write lambda by t as lambda into 1 by t both are same this is one more definition for frequency frequency is reciprocal of time period reciprocal means inverse frequency is reciprocal of time period means 1 divided by t so instead of 1 by t i can write f so therefore v equals to lambda into f f lambda that's the formula for speed of sound so it's a very very important formula and you know the si unit is just like a motion chapter we discussed it is meters per second for example in this diagram if i give the lambda value as a um, say 220 meters lambda value and uh, the frequency the frequency lambda is 220 meters and the frequency is 3 hertz what is the speed of sound if i ask you then simply apply the formula f lambda 3 into 220 the frequency uh, is nothing but 660 meters per second Absolutely, it is not in the air because in the air we discuss is 340 330 340 360 it is 660 meters per second that means it is it may be some a different type of medium so just applying the two values you can get, you can get the speed of sound okay now we are going to some more concepts in the sound chapter the first concept in reflection of sound what is reflection of sound the name itself tells you that reflection how light comes falls on the wall and bounces back similarly the sound comes falls on the wall or any substance if it bounces back it's called reflection all waves satisfies law of reflection it may be sound wave it may be light wave it may be any other type of wave, electromagnetic wave all waves have to yes they are satisfying the law of reflection now the question is what is law of reflection see the board according to mathematics we have drawn a perpendicular line to a surface say it is a some surface say it's a wooden surface wooden surface water surface glass surface any surface you can take okay it is wood surface glass surface water surface anything and i have drawn a normal mathematically which is perpendicular line now a sound is produced at this point yes is a source of sound when the sound is produced sound can travel in all directions it can travel in all directions but we are not interested to see all the directions we will take only one direction let us say this is the direction of the sound it falls like this this line like this see the sound waves are traveling towards the surface and they fall on the surface with an angle i i is called incident angle incident angle let me write here it is incident angle when sound wave travels and falls on the surface with the angle i it reflects it reflects and you can draw in this way reflected wave this is called reflected wave and this reflected uh, wave make an angle r with the normal r is called reflected angle reflected angle now law of reflection says angle i is equals to angle r this is the law of reflection if the sound wave travels and falls with the angle of instance 30 degrees it will reflect with the angle 30 degrees if it falls with the incident angle 60 degrees it will reflect with the angle 60 degrees it is true because all the waves wants to travel to a distance as short as possible as short as possible and mathematically we found that with what angle they incident with the same angle they reflect and that will be the shortest distance for it 
That's why law of reflection says angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. Now sound when it falls on the different substances it reflects. Sometimes it has a regular reflection, sometimes it has irregular reflection. How it is possible? If you have a soft surface, polished soft surface, a soft wooden surface and sound comes and falls on the surface, then it has a regular reflection. If it has a rough surface, then it has an irregular reflection. Let me show you here. See, this is one surface, wooden surface, which is soft one. When the sound wave comes like this, incident on the soft surface, it reflects regularly. But if it has irregular surface, then the sound wave falls incident and it reflects irregularly. Irregularly. Irregularly means in different directions. One more thing. In auditoriums, big auditoriums like in Hyderabad, Shilpakala Vedika auditorium if you see. It's a very big auditorium. Many times, uh, many functions happens in that auditorium. So, if the people start speaking on the stage or some uh, dance is happening, some person is singing a song, that has to be heard by all the audience sitting or standing in the auditorium clearly. Then how it is possible? They can't take mic and keep big sound boxes in front of the audience. They start singing a song. Maybe that is, uh, they think there should be a pleasant sound, but maybe it becomes noisy for them. That's what they do. They keep systematically some sound speakers, corners of the room. So that these speakers synchronized and give a pleasant sound to the people. Sometimes, Sometimes what they do, instead of keeping the speakers, of course they use speakers, sometimes they use some special type of speakers, a special shaped speakers, it's called concave shaped, like this, see like this, concave shape, ellipsoid shape we say. So what happens when the sound from the source goes and falls here and it reflects in all the directions. See here. Now what happens? So the concave shaped speakers advantage is that it covers wider area. So if it is a big room, the sound spreads in all the directions so that the sound can be in a wider area. The better example for you, dish antennas, Tata Sky, DTH, if you the dish antennas, the dish, the dish is in the ellipsoid shape ellipsoid shape so that the rays falling on it, the rays falling on it, they spread in all the directions. In the other way, the different rays falling in different directions should be concentrated to one point. In that way, these type of shapes are used for spreading the waves in all the directions or take the waves in all the directions and focusing to one point. So using this type of shape, sound can be spread in all the directions. That's how you can reflect the sound. There is one more major thing in reflection of sound we should learn and that is echoes. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.